COVID cases are trending sharply upward in parts of the Bay Area tonight. And while hospitalizations remain low, one public health expert tells our Sarah Donchi it may be time to start acting as if they aren't. While it does seem like many people are done with the pandemic, the latest numbers out of the Bay Area seem to show the pandemic is not done with us. As the masks come off and restrictions are falling, COVID infections are rising in the Bay Area. In fact, infections have risen more than 160% here in a month. Experts say our return to normalcy may be deceiving. Well, it's been much more insidious in that sense. You know, it's sort of lulling us into not much is happening. But when we look back over the last four weeks, We've seen a very significant increase in the number of cases. UC Berkeley's Dr. John Swartzberg says while hospitalizations have also ticked up, they are still much lower than during the height of the Delta surge, and that the healthcare system ought to prepare for another possible surge now, while hospitalization rates are still manageable. My feeling is the more we can keep the case rate down, the more we can keep our hospital beds free to take care of patients who really need them, the better shape we're going to be in. San Francisco now has one of the highest infection rates in California and a test positivity rate of 7.9%. Experts say driven in part by the new Omicron subvariants. But Dr. Schwartzberg says the possibility of a new, deadlier variant is one of his biggest concerns. The real danger is that if a new variant comes along that not only is very transmissible, that even evades our immunity much better, but also can make us a lot sicker than this one currently does. Although it can make us very sick and kill some people, it doesn't do it to the rate that, for example, Delta did. But if a new one comes along with all those qualities, we will really be in trouble. Dr. Schwartzberg says while many restrictions have ended, we've entered a new phase of personal choice where people need to make their own decisions about how to protect themselves by doing things like wearing masks and staying out of crowds where transmission rates are high. In San Francisco, I'm Sarah Donchi, KPIX 5.